starts now. From the News Channel 5 Network and the Electric Power Companies of Middle Tennessee, this is the Electric Power Companies Sunday Sports Central. The up and down season continues. Hi everyone, I'm Mike Rogers and welcome to Sunday Sports Central. Titans had an opportunity to gain some ground in the AFC South race, but standing in their way was a matchup against the Atlanta Falcons. Both of these teams entered Sunday with five and four records and they were both behind their division leader by a game and a half. Titans went three and out on their first drive, but the Falcons get off to a quick start in this one. Matt Ryan will find tight end Tony Gonzalez for the nine yard touchdown. Atlanta scores on their first drive and takes a seven nothing lead. Second quarter now, the Titans defense had a hard time stopping Falcons running back Michael Turner. He will take this one down to the 17 yard line. That would lead to another Atlanta field goal. Falcons start the game with 13 unanswered points. Atlanta led 13 to three at halftime. In the second half, Falcons continue their attack on offense. Ryan with a deep pass to Roddy White. What a play by White. He had seven catches for 147 receiving yards and the Falcons are in the red zone once again. Two plays later, it's Turner again. This time a four yard touchdown run. The Falcons are on their way to a blowout with a 20 to three lead. But on the Titans next drive, quarterback Matt Hasselbeck injures his elbow when he's hit by the Falcons Ray Edwards. Hasselbeck would finish the series but was done for the day. So later on in the third, rookie quarterback Jake Locker gets the opportunity to bring this team back to life and he does. Locker to Nate Washington. Nate turns this catch into Locker's first career touchdown pass. A 40 yarder on the stat sheet and the Titans are down by 13. Same score in the fourth. Locker keeping his cool in the pocket. He avoids the sack, fires this one down the field to Lavelle Hawkins. And how about the Hawk with some great hands to make the catch? What a play by Locker, what a catch by Hawkins, and the Titans are back in business. Third and four now, Locker's on the move. The quick pass to Washington again. Just like that, the Titans have come all the way back to make it a six point game. But with time winding down in the fourth, the Falcons offense makes a play that will win the game. Third and six, Ryan to Harry Douglas. Titans were out of timeouts at that point and the Falcons survive a scare at home and they defeat Tennessee 23 to 17. We talked about rookie Jake Locker, his final line, nine for 19 for 140 passing yards and two touchdowns. Before he got injured, quarterback Matt Hasselbeck, 13 to 25 for 124 passing yards and one interception. And take a look at Chris Johnson's numbers, 12 carries for 13 rushing yards. We turned the ball over there on offense. We had penalties on offense right off the bat. We had the first play of the game, there was a penalty on the kickoff. So we're backed up immediately. Um, you know, you don't, you can't do things like that and expect to win. Slow start, mistakes, penalties. Uh, in order to be a great team, you can't come in here and play Atlanta Falcon team like this. You know, um, we expect better out of ourselves, and this is something that we can't hold our crown on to come in and have 10 penalties in the game. We can't continue to make, uh, you know, have penalties and beat good teams. You know, uh, we may get away with it here and there, but uh, against a good football team, 10 penalties won't get you a win. And joining me now is 104.5 The Zone's Blaine Bishop. Blaine, some positives and negatives to take from this game. You seem like a positive guy, so I'm <laughs> going to start with the positives. How about the play of rookie quarterback Jake Locker? And I'm sure a lot of the fans are going to be calling in your talk show this week and saying yeah. Locker should be the guy, but just one game, should that change the direction of quarterback for the rest of the season? Well, no, because you're still in the playoff hunt. It, you know, statistically, you still have a shot. I mean, he did a great job. It, you know, the team didn't game plan to stop Locker. But what he did show is that he was calm under pressure. He's a playmaker. Outside of the pocket, he can buy time, get some guys open. So that's a positive out of it. I, you know, I don't think it's time yet to be saying, let's put the other guy in, Locker, over Hasselback. Hasselback's doing a great job, but he doesn't have a lot of weapons without a running game any quarterback, it's really tough to play that position. So we have to have a CJ sighting is what we really need to happen. Good segue there. Now to the negatives. Uh, Matt Hasselbeck with more rushing yards than Chris Johnson. Uh, okay, what was the deal what? today with the Titans running game? 
Wow, I tell you, early on it was the penetration of the defensive line. Uh, they get, you know, the other Babineau was getting in the backfield a lot, and some other guys, uh, you know, early on. And then I think when there were were holes, I think CJ lost a little bit of confidence in what he, you know, the line could do and what he could do. And so he start pressing and start trying to just run outside. And I'm not sure if CJ has has lost confidence in his line and then making plays because I, I think he's getting a little frustrated and is forcing the issue. Had to be patient as a runner, uh, not always looking for the big play. Sometimes you got to run it up in there so uh, it's gonna be interesting to see uh, you know how it all plays itself out because I think at some point uh, he's gonna have to break one and look like the old CJ even last week the 130 yards didn't look like the old CJ he looked good but he didn't look great like the old CJ so we're still looking for that breakout game uh, you know they say he's healthy so he's practicing really hard so uh, hopefully things will change Hope so. We are just getting started here on Sunday Sports Central. Coming up next, our Steve Lehman is in Atlanta with the Titans. Steve will have more on the team's disappointing effort on defense during that last drive tonight in our Taco Bell Crunch Report. Plus, we take a look at the controversial ending between Vandy and UT last night. Find out what an SEC official is saying about the call that everyone is still talking about. All those stories and more as Sunday Sports Central continues. Sunday Sports Central brought to you by.